Hello again, this is Dr. Mix from West Plano Pediatrics. We are talking about how to take a rectal temperature. Lots of parents freak out about this. I promise you, it's not that bad. Okay, fever, again, in reference to our last video, red flags, if your baby is acting really fussy, not feeding well, something is just off and your little spidey sense goes off, take a rectal temperature. Remember again, fever is defined as a 100.4 or greater, rectally is ideal, that's your baby's core temperature, that's Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of do like a little demo here, just kind of uh, use your imagination a bit. You can use gloves with your baby if you want, you don't have to, but certainly if your baby ever, uh, or your child ever has diarrhea, I would uh, definitely recommend using gloves and wiping down surfaces after, that's always a good thing. So here's our little, patient, our little cowboy's bear, go cowboys, and here he is. So what we'll do, you lay your baby down on your little changing table or on the floor, and all you need, this is it, like a little digital rectal thermometer. Um, from This one happens to be from CVS, uh, you can get one at Walgreens, Target, Walmart, you know, Kroger, wherever, um, any, any, anywhere has it. So very simple, I think they only cost a few dollars. And um, then you just have a little button and so it's off right now. When I turn it on, it'll go, you know, you can even have different settings. You can put it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Right now it's measuring low because we're not taking a temperature. So the key is you're going to insert it into where the poo-poo comes out, into the child's rectum until this little silver tip disappears. I promise you it will not hurt them. They may get a little mad and you need to watch out after you're done taking the temperature. They may have a little explosion after. Okay, this is also another trick that if your baby has a really hard stool, we may instruct you to take a rectal temperature one time to relieve the obstruction. It's not something you should be doing every day. You're only doing this if your pediatrician tells you to or you think your baby has a fever because you don't want them to get dependent on rectal temperatures to have a poo-poo. All right, so we got our little guy. I'm not, he doesn't really have, you know, an opening or anything, but this is a little lubricant. Lubricant, you don't need that. You can just use Vaseline, Aquaphor, whatever. You just put it very generously on this metal tip, okay? And then you just turn your little thermometer on and then you will insert it like that. So see, you don't see the silver um, tip anymore. So you can zoom in on that if you want. And I usually just lift up their legs. You can lift up one or both and see our little teddy bear, our little baby is just fine. Doesn't even care, just la la la. And then you wait for a beep, 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 beep. And then you're gonna see what the measurement is. That's it. It might take about a minute and it should beep after that, okay? If, you, if it's not beeping or you get a really low temperature, you probably didn't insert it far enough. So you just need to insert it until that little silver disappears and you get to the blue. Okay, well that's been taking a rectal temperature 101. Have a great day, I'm fever free.